Hi friends, my name is Lena and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about the TXT universe and kind of going over like the basics that you need to know to completely understand maybe the future music video that might come out that they've been teasing yet. I don't I don't even I don't even know what's happening with that actually. Um, a lot of people have been asking me to explain as simply as I can the TXT universe, so this is what this video is aiming to do. Although actually this was initially going to be a follow-up video to the video I posted almost exactly one year ago. I think it was titled everything that we know about the TXT universe or something like that. Anyway, and I am still actually going to be doing that. I just felt that if there is another music video coming out, it doesn't really make sense to make a whole video that's going to be like a half hour long on this topic when I'll just have to like add an update to it or things might even change. Like perspectives are always changing in this. This is obviously a theory, so it's ongoing as we figure out the plot holes and stuff like that. Ah, uh, anyway. So in this video today, I'm going to define what the TU is. I'm gonna tell you what's in the TU, what's not in the TU. Uh, and of course, I'm going to go over the main important points of the TXT universe. And then at the end, I'm also going to go over the music videos very briefly. Um, so yeah, hopefully this will help you guys get a sense of just everything that's going on and the things that maybe you should be paying attention to. So let's get to it. The TU stands for TXT Universe and is a reference to the storyline that is continuously told throughout particular music videos or images or other videos released by TXT and Big Hit. This is their own personal story, but it's likely that this also takes place in the same universe as other big hit groups, such as BTS or G-Friend and future groups to come. Full disclaimer, because I think some people got a little bit confused in my previous theory video about Can't You See Me. Um, this is not a reflection of reality in any way. It is a theory about the TXT storyline. It does not refer to real life at all. It does not refer to the boys at all. If you see a picture and it looks like it's Instagram, but I don't actually tell you that it's an Instagram photo, it's not an Instagram photo. It is probably a teaser or a concept photo um, for the album. It is fabricated to look like social media, but it's not actually social media. I just want to clarify that because I know people are going to ask. I will have the link in the description to the website where you can look at those concept photos for yourself. Anyways, it's not real. They're not tagging each other as suspicious or anything like that. They're all still friends. We're all getting along. It's wonderful. Just enjoy the TXT universe as a fictional storyline and let's go for real this time. So what content is part of the TXT universe? Certain images and several concept images and photo cards from their albums, although some of these are unlabeled. The What Do You See questioning videos. The Eternity concept trailer. The Nap of a Star music video. The Magic Island music video. And these all directly tell us the story of the TXT universe in a straightforward way. I consider this the main timeline and I strongly believe there will be just one more, a music video for Eternally, but we'll have to see. What about content that isn't in the TU? Almost all of their other content isn't considered a main part of the TU. Including, yes, Can't You See Me? As in, it's not a direct telling of the main story. Though, in certain instances, it at very least references it. Or, like in Blue Orange Aid, they have the whole video be a total mess of references. Which brings me to the categories of music videos for TXT. There are several different categories. They are the TXT Universe music videos. As I mentioned before, this is Nap of a Star, Magic Island, the story music videos that tell us a story that probably comes from another timeline or a dream. It seems to be loosely related to the TXT Universe, but it isn't part of the main telling of the story. This is Runaway and Can't You See Me. The hint-filled music videos, where it doesn't have a story or anything, but it is a fun music video packed with hints for the TXT Universe, hidden beneath layers of colors and insanity, and Big Hit just really wants us to suffer. This is like Blue Orange Aid or the Japanese Runaway music videos. Promotional music videos. These usually have very little to do with the storyline and are usually more centered on the aesthetic of the song or the dance, probably to promote the song or album as a whole. For example, this is Angel or Devil, Puma, Our Summer, stuff like that. So what are the most important points in the TEU? The first most important thing in the TXT universe is this thing I refer to called the boys' pain. 
This pain is physically represented in the Nap of a Star music video, but it's shown in other ways through photos and performances. It seems to show us the area that surrounds the thing that the boys each individually suffer the most from. Yeonjun has the throat or voice, Subin has ears or listening or sound in general, Bomgyu has his shoulder or a metaphorical weight, Taeyeon has his eye, specifically the left eye, Kai has his heart. Additionally, it seems that Kai and Yeonjun respectively have one more pain, the horns and the wings that we see in Nap of a Star. Although these are directly referenced in a couple other songs lyrics, namely in Angel or Devil, obviously, and in the lyrics for Crown, which was the title track for the Dream Chapter Star. Speaking of title tracks, they always have the story for the TU music videos in their lyrics of the title track. Crown talks about a boy being saved by someone with wings, like what happens exactly in the Nap of the Star music video. Runaway talks about taking the train to the end of the world, which, you know, happens in Magic Island, and, well, Eternally hasn't come out yet, but you can see some of the heavy hints in the lyrics of Can't You See Me for that music video. Yes, I am very convinced that there is going to be an Eternally music video. Uh, it just makes sense. It's following the pattern that Big Hit has currently laid out for us. I know they they like to break from patterns, but I, I'm really holding on to it because I know that this music video is going to be actually insane. Um, but the pattern is basically that the song title matches the title of the album. So Nap of a Star matched the title of the album, which was Dream Chapter Star. Same with Magic Island. It has magic in the title, and magic was the subtitle for the Dream Chapter Magic. And for the Dream Chapter Eternity, the only song that matches the title is Eternally. Not only that, but there was a lot of hints, uh, even at the end of the Magic Island music video and in the lyrics that... Um, like eternally and the theme of forever uh, has a lot to do with the TXT storyline. So that just really solidifies it for me. The cat with blue and green eyes. This cat appears at very important parts of the story, usually at the climax moment. It's hard to tell if it's good or bad, or maybe somewhere in between, like the Cheshire Cat from Alice in Wonderland. Although I'm currently leaning towards bad, since it does seem like it directly tried to stop Subin from approaching his friends in the concept trailer for Eternity. But I do want to point out that in the past, the bad that it caused isn't necessarily all bad. For example, in Nap of a Star, he runs from the cat only to find his friends, or his friends actually find him, but regardless. In Magic Island, yes, they are hit by the cat train thing, but the fire is gone. Probably. It's important to note that the cat seems to shapeshift somehow, so it's originally in the form of a cat, which is why I've described it always as the cat forevermore, even though it might not really be a cat. Perhaps it's an alien, hence the weird eyes, which seem to be very consistent, but it's also taken the form of a train, possibly that of a dragon, and the forms of lights behind the boys in the concept trailer for magic. It can always be identified by those two colors, the blue and the green. Next, the bear. Now, I don't know if the bear is actually in the TXT universe. It seems to be more a part of the alternate storyline since it was actually first introduced in Runaway, which is not a main TU music video. It appeared in both its original form and as the weird monster Frankenstein that it ends up as. But also, it actually refers to each of the boy's pains, with the exception of Kai's wings. It seems to be a representation of the boys and what they will or what they have gone through. I explain my reasoning for this better at the end of my Can't You See Me Explained video, and it has to do with the teaser image that Big Kid dropped, so I suggest checking that out if you want more info on that. Basically, I think it's an important piece, but we just don't know why yet, and I am waiting for it to appear in another music video because it just brings up a lot of questions. And now for the music video's breakdown. So let's look at the story so far. In my full video later, I will do an actual breakdown of the music videos with details, but for now, please bear with my summary of it instead. In Nap of a Star, we see that they make a promise to the star to be together forever, which they subsequently break, possibly because of a curse placed on them by a witch, but that could be subtext. Regardless, they seem to forget each other. 
Years later, somehow, Yeonjun's fear of other people talking about him, remember, his pain is in the throat or the voice, so other people mocking him are his pain, and this manifests into horns. He runs away into the forest, which is actually Magic Island, and eventually reunites with his friends from a long time ago. And it is them reuniting that wakes the star back up. It is heavily implied that they don't really remember their past well, or like major important parts of it, because in Magic Island, which continues from this story, the first sentences we see tell us that they don't really know about the promise they made to the star, and they don't know what kind of hardships they'll have to go through to find their apparent goal, which is the star's song. They go to Magic Island using a rule that is explained in their song, Runaway, that is to close their eyes and end up in a place where their dreams become reality. It goes a little bit deeper than that, but this is essentially using the ideas from the magic shop, the book, not the BTS song, although they are connected, and they use it to find their way to Magic Island. Except Yeonjun opens his eyes and breaks this rule, which might have unintended consequences down the line. There's also a lot of hints for like the future. If you watch this part of the music video, like literally go on this music video, put the playback speed to 0.25 and just squint at it for a little bit because wow. Also, it showed the light bulb breaking scene that happens in Can't You See Me? So I wonder what else we're going to see. Like, I want to know why the fuse is blowing up and why that building is collapsing and just there's so much stuff. Basically, the scenes after this seem to be the calm before the storm, because they start playing around with literal fire in a forest. And then they reverse time off screen. Yes. Now, I don't think that I've actually said this in any of my videos before, because I always end up cutting it out because it's not as relevant, but TXT actually do reverse time or like rewind time in the Magic Island music video, but it happens not on screen. Between sections three and four, I believe, it literally goes from them setting the world on fire to no fire at all. We know they can't put out fire, but we do know that they can rewind time. It's even in Runaway's lyrics, which, to remind you, tells us the story of the Magic Island music video. Anyways, it doesn't matter that the fire is gone, because the forest seems to remember being on fire, either tied to the fact that Subin seems to be able to hear something that sounds like a bell, maybe the cat, or maybe it has to do with this super spooky reflection that apparently Subin sees, or maybe the fact that the trees have eyes? Regardless, it seems out to punish the boys, or specifically Yeonjun, for the things that they've done. The music video centers on Yeonjun here, really putting the blame on him, as if it's following him around, maybe from other music videos or timelines. Despite the fact that Bomgyu was the one who actually started the fire in this music video, regardless, they need to escape and the cat appears to ruin or save the day, we really can't decide. The cat slash train runs them over, and after a scene that could maybe take place in another wormhole or something, they appear passed out while the apocalypse is happening and On is probably playing somewhere in the distance. I'm probably kidding. Probably. They see a dragon, which I'm theorizing might be the cat, since that thing shapeshifts like crazy. There's no confirmation except the eyes in the concept trailer for magic kind of look like dragon eyes, so take away from that what you will. The ending leaves us with yet another important story note. The text on the screen says, remember my name. Remembrance is very important to the story. We literally saw them make a promise and then forget it. So remembering it is very important, but we aren't sure who or what wants its name remembered. It could be the cat or the star or something like that, or another person that we haven't met yet. Important to note here in general is that Magic Island is a place that I think is meant to represent your subconscious mind, except that it's actually happening. It's a physical manifestation of this. Obviously, this is based off of the magic shop, which in the book, the author kind of uses his methods to, in a way, achieve a similar result to Carl Jung and his theory of self-actualization. They might not be technically tied to each other, but I feel like you can see the similarities in their methods. I recommend giving the book a read if you have the chance. So that is why in Nap of a Star they have horns and big ears and all this fun stuff. It's the subconscious mind. Also, I think Nap of a Star is meant to be a memory, hence the old film feeling to it, which might attribute to that as well. 
But if we think about it, it's possible that that's why in Magic Island, fire started again the second time because it was reflecting the memory back to them. It also sort of proves the mirroring with the dragon and the dragonfly that Kai picks up in the music video since he's asleep in this scene, probably the simplest way to reach your subconscious. And of course his direct ties to wings as well. So hopefully this helped you guys understand the TU a little bit more. Um, I definitely skipped over a lot of information. For example, I didn't even really touch the performances or the animations that they have that have to do with it. Like, there's really a lot, but I think that if you have this basis, you can sort of start to understand their story and just remember that it's about boys who are growing up. It's about the experience of youth. Um, in maybe a different lens than BTS had approached their story. But I mean, I do think that I shared some of the key information so that at the very least you guys are equipped to go out and completely understand, or at least mostly understand, any future music videos that they might drop that have to do with the TXT universe. So now that we know this information, what is it that we want to look out for in the future? Obvious things, such as the cat or the bear. But also, what is this name they should be remembering? Does it have to do with the star's song that they need to search for? Does it tie into the reflection of the girl that we saw somehow? Other things to look out for would be Subin using his phone a lot, Kai falling asleep or being sleepy, Bomgyu trying, possibly in the wrong way, to fix his friend's problems, Taeyeon looking for answers, and Yeonjun somehow taking the guilt all onto himself again. I think that this might tie into their pain, so something along the lines of these is bound to show up again. There's also the probability that it will start to highlight the broken friendship that appears in the Can't You See Me music video, but with that, they need to actually address their promise, which was to be together. But in this particular image that came with the Eternity album, we see a broken telescope, which was previously intact everywhere else, seemingly hinting at the fact that this promise is broken. There's also the Morse codes from the questioning videos and keywords that were used in album photo cards, which I didn't talk about here, but they do add another layer to the characters' motivations that could bring the story into really interesting ways. I will leave a link to my thread on Twitter that lists them all if you aren't sure what they are. Anyways, what do you think? Do you have any burning questions? If you do have any questions or there's something that you don't know or don't understand, leave it in the comments below. I will try to answer as many comments as I can. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button with notifications on so that you're notified every time that I post a video. I will also have my social media linked down in the description below so you guys can follow me there and keep up with me. I do post theories and stuff on both Instagram and on Twitter that sometimes don't make it into videos, so it might be beneficial for that. Otherwise, look out for my community posts on YouTube. YouTube because I also share information that way and it's a good way for you to keep up with TXT if you don't have all the social media because I know Big Hit likes to post things everywhere. As it is, stay sunny everyone. Goodbye!